there's a lot of good stuff I'm expecting to come out of 2023. Supply is up, demand is down. However, at the same time, interest rates are up. What I think is going to happen in 2023 is because demand is down, dealers are going to be discounting their vehicles a tiny bit. And we're going to see manufacturers pump out rebates to incentivize these deals. However, at the same time, we're going to see some really, really terrible lease numbers. The reason why is because interest rates are up. This also affects lease rates because lease rates rely on federal interest rates. That usually means that whatever interest rates you're seeing on a loan, it's probably going to be way more on a lease. We're seeing used car prices go way, way down and we're seeing it play out the most on Teslas at the moment. However, what this does mean for you, if you've got some negative equity, you're not going to get top dollar for your trade in like you may have a few months ago or even a year ago. Carvana, CarMax, all of them, they're not really in a position to be overpaying right now on your vehicle and they're in some deep, deep trouble because of what they were doing last year. However, if you've got decent credit, you don't have any negative equity, I think that you're in a prime position to get yourself into a vehicle at a decent price and actually see some rebates and discounts in 2023. I want to recommend that you start saving for a down payment if you don't already have one in order to offset all the additional interest that you're going to pay because of higher interest rates. I want to recommend if you've got bad credit to definitely find a co-signer that can help you with getting a, a better loan rate. And I want to recommend to join a credit union to see if you can lock down a lower rate than what we're seeing on the market because we're going to be seeing interest rates in the fives and sixes compared to four percent and three percent that we're seeing a couple of years ago this may make a difference of a few thousand dollars over the course of a five-year loan i am expecting two things to happen i expect that manufacturers will dish out promotional aprs and I also think that they're going to dish out rebates and incentives for those that are choosing not to finance using a promotional APR. I think that this is going to be a cash buyer's dream or anybody that has their own financing in place. I think it's going to benefit them the most. However, if you've got bad credit, I think that all of this is going to benefit you the least. Definitely get your credit in order. However, if your credit is in order, I do think that things are shaping up for a better deal for you in 2023. If you found this information useful, please consider subscribing. Thank you so, so much for watching, guys. We'll see you next year.